end of the weekend but I Hey y'all, it's Alexis, middle name Nicole, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys step by step on how I created this beautiful fall inspired Thanksgiving ready look. So if you're interested, please stay tuned and keep on watching. So the other day I went out with my friend, we were celebrating her birthday, and so I did my makeup of course, but when I tell y'all, my makeup came out so pretty, like, my skin makeup was flawless my friend actually kept saying like how my skin looked this so clear like it didn't even look like i had on makeup at all and i was like girl this is definitely fenty because my actual skin is trash right now but thank you for the compliments but when i tell y'all i was so upset when i was like why did i record this like this is the perfect one neutral thanksgiving thanksgiving look my skin looks amazing and it was actually quite simple like i didn't even really use that many eyeshadows for this look i was like this is the perfect thanksgiving look why did you not record this alexis i was so upset i was like why did i not record this so when i went to go take off my makeup i was like i'm gonna just have to recreate this look i'm gonna have to give it to the girls i'm gonna have to give them what they want and what they deserve and so that's what we're here today to recreate the look that i've already done on myself <laughs> And I'll insert a picture just so you guys have a reference of what I'm trying to recreate. Um, but yeah, it's like the this neutral, very simple, at least I think it's pretty simple, makeup look. And then I'm going to also show you guys what I did as far as my base foundation because I've been getting so many compliments on my skin or base foundation routine lately. Even my girlfriend has been saying like how as of late my skin makeup has just been so like flawless. And I'm like, mm. so let's get straight into it. I've done my brows off camera because at this point, I just feel like either I'm going to make a dedicated brow routine or something of the sort because I just feel like I spend too much time doing my brows on camera when I'm trying to do these makeup looks. So if you want, I can give you guys a tutorial on how I do my brows. I actually do my brows with literally a dollar eyeliner eyeliner pencil so it's like probably the cheapest bra routine you'll ever come across so if you guys want that please leave it in the comments below but as far as this makeup look i am going to start with kind of priming my eyes or just color correcting them so that my um eyelids is one even tone i'm going to be using the um l'oreal infallible full wear concealer in the shade 405 toffee and so i am literally going to just take just a dot of this and place it on my lids and then just buff this out with my elf concealer sponge it looks like an actual egg um but it literally works so well for concealers um and so i'm gonna just take that and pat it in just to get my eye base um even Now typically if I was going in and doing a more colorful look, I would go in with a more white concealer to um, do my base and my cut crease. But because this is a pretty neutral look, the tanness of this concealer it doesn't really affect the look as much as if it was with a more colorful, colorful or brighter eyeshadow and then the next thing i'm going to do is take my one size translucent powder and i'm going to apply that to my lids as well now you can also skip this process or this step if you just had a eyeshadow base just apply that i have eyeshadow bases i just prefer to use concealer just because it's right here and it's easier and there's one less product i have to grab but again eyeshadow bases probably work just the same if not better for this process what I'm going to do now is go in with the eyeshadows that I use for this look. Which is not eyeshadows, y'all. Like, I literally went in with the Juvia's Place brush, Blush Duo in Volume 1. This was the primary colors that I used for this look. I'm going to go in with the orange shade here and use that as my transition color. So I'm just going to take some of the product, put it on a fluffy brush. This is a Morphe R37 brush. I got it in that little like rose gold set. Um, every time I go to Ulta, I see this set. So it's probably still available. 
and it may have a sale for Black Friday, child. I don't know, but that's the, <laughs> that's the set that I am using. And so I'm just gonna take a little bit of that orange color, tap off the excess, and I'm gonna go in and just apply this as my transition color. Now this blush is quite pigmented, and so depending on your preference, you can really buff it out, apply more, apply less. But basically we're just using this as transition so that we are going to apply another color on top to really make the eye look pop. So this is where I will stop here and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now y'all, if I'm being honest, child, recreating this look is putting the pressure on myself because I'm like, I don't usually try to do the same look twice because I feel like it never comes out the same. And so when I was like, dang, I should just record it the first time because it came out so good. And then I convinced myself to try to recreate it. I was like, I don't know if I could do that. But we here, we're gonna see how it comes out. Hopefully it comes out even better. That's what I'm praying for, that it comes out even better. Because I really think this is the perfect Thanksgiving look. This is gonna be the looks that have your cousins being like, you thank you too much. And is, and is. And what about it? You wish that you had these makeup skills and you don't. So go ahead, eat your cornbread. Okay, now that we have that done, I'm going to go in with the more purple, um, mauve tone of this palette um, and take that right on top of the orange color and just blend the two. So when I tell y'all, this is literally all I did. Uh, I just thought it was so pretty together. And I was like, yeah, I'm looking for something simple. I wasn't trying to go to go through all of these palettes that I have. I was like, I just need something simple and quick. And it turned out perfect. And so this is what I've done. You guys see how beautiful those two are blending together. And then the extra bonus of this is that you could then use the blush to complement the eyeshadow look. Come on, y'all see what I'm doing. Y'all see where it's going, yes. So I am now done applying those transition colors of the orange and purple colors of the Juvia Place Blush Palette, Volume 1. If you feel like the purple is overpowering the orange, just go back in and apply more orange and then just blend the two out until you have the desired blend that you want. But I went ahead and zoomed in a little bit closer because now it's getting a little bit tricky. I'm going to cut my crease. But I'm not going to bring the cut crease all the way across my eye. I am just going to cut it from my inner corner halfway up my lid. So I'm taking that same L'Oreal concealer in the color 4 or 5 Toffee. I just realized that they have the color in two different languages. <laughs> but anyway, in the color Toffee. And like I said, I'm going to just take it from the inner corner up halfway. As you can see, I have brought it halfway up just about. And so I'm gonna fill it in slightly, but I'm gonna actually, once I fill it in, I'm gonna do the other side just so that they can match and go back and forth until I have my desired look. Y'all, the way I had to turn my neck Child, I don't know if I showed y'all any of like how I did this eye because when I think I was, <laughs> it was just like the way I have to turn my neck to make sure that this arch is arching, it was a lot. So sorry if I was not able to show you guys exactly how I did this eye, but it's pretty much the same thing I did to this eye. And I just went in and tried to match them as closely as possible. And so what I'm going to do, like I said before, is just fill it in, but not to the outer part of my eye but more like halfway. You don't want it to be harsh but you do want to have like a good layer for your um, lid color. Now 
Now this did not take me too long to create the cut creases, but if you're somebody who struggle with getting your cut creases together, you may want to give yourself a little bit more time, sis, to get to um, to do your makeup. Because I don't know what time y'all have Thanksgiving, but if it's early in the evening, you may want to wake up a little bit earlier. Just to make sure you're not looking crazy if you decide to do something of the sort of this look. Now that we have it filled out halfway, I'm going to go in again. I feel like I'm using this palette every time I do a makeup look on my channel. The Kimchi, Two Queens, One Desert, something like that, Naomi Small palette. And I'm going to take the color Savannah, which is this very like light neutral shade. Basically a shade that is just neutral tan. Like I said, we're just going for a very simple look today. A neutral tan color to really just set this concealer. Because honestly, if I could just wear concealer as it was, I'll just leave the look or leave it pretty bare. But I do want to set it. And so I'm going to set it with a color that is similar to the concealer shade. So you're just going to pack it everywhere you have that concealer. And, you, and with this, you can kind of just like buff it out into the transition colors because you're going to do that anyway. Okay, and so that is how that should be looking. Very matte, very neutral, um, nothing too extravagant. And so I'm going to just do the same thing on the other eye. Now that we applied our lid color, what I'm going to do is actually take a dirty brush that has blacks and brown in it. I, I don't know if this is helpful to anybody. If you are working with clean brushes, then you may have to just go in with the actual eyeshadow shades. But I'm taking a dirty brush because I know it has built up product on it. This is a Morphe... It doesn't say the, the actual brush. I'm taking this Morphe Flushy brush and going in with the shade Mad Maxine from the Kimchi palette. Again, it's this deep brown here. And I'm just going to buff it out for the edges. Just to really blend all of these shades together. And it doesn't, it doesn't hurt if you take it into where you have that uh, tan shade. It's actually going to look very pretty in the end. I'm just going to take that and just buff it out. Really focusing on the outer edge. But like I said again, it doesn't hurt if you take it in. Just a little bit closer to the center. So I applied that dark brown shade. And it's looking a little dark. So what I'm going to do is go back in with my orange shade and just blend that out. orange and purple i just go back in between the two just to make sure that it is as seamless as possible now if i feel like the look is getting a little bit too dark i'm going to go back in with that same savannah shade and just put it back where i want it to be brighter so right here in the center i feel like i overdid it and so i'm just going to take that savannah shade and bring it back to make it more light and then i'm going to go back in with that same blending brush and just smooth it out so that it's more seamless. And basically I'm just gonna take all of these shadows and just be going back and forth until I have the desired look that I'm going for. Now I think I'm gonna stop with this eye and now work on this one. Okay, so I zoomed in a little bit more because this is where you really gag the girls. So we went ahead and blended out that brown shade to add a little bit more depth to the outer corner. Apply as much as that lid color of Savannah or a tan, whichever you're using. Tan color to really just melt the two in there. And whenever needed, we buffed out the transition colors of the purple and orange from the Juvia's palette. So now that we have the base looking like how we want to look, we go back in with this L'Oreal concealer, concealer, the same one in the color toffee, and we kind of just like highlight and outline this cut crease. 
I don't know if this is advanced for most people, but you just literally are going to go over the line that you've already created. Now, for me personally, I won't go into the inner corner. I'll probably start more so where my brows start and then really just apply concealer right on top of where I've already cut my crease. So I'm just going to put the tiniest amount, and this is also a BH Cosmetics brush. It says number eight. I got this years ago. I have no idea if they still sell it, but it's like literally just a flat brush. The same brush that I did to apply my original cut crease, I'm just going to literally just go on top of it. I'm going to try, I'm gonna try to come in close, so I don't know if this is going to look crazy or not. And the trick is, the so one trick that I, I do for when I cut my crease always have your elbow planted on something don't have your your hand where it could like mess you up have your elbow planted and like move only your arm if that makes sense don't try to like you know do all that but like have your elbow planted and just literally just move your hand or your arm so that it is as steady as possible and so i even like place my face on my my chin on my hand so that I can be more controlled just like that it's not it's not gonna be a lot you're literally just going to go over and you want it to be as thin as possible And slow and steady y'all don't try to go too fast slow and steady and I am raising my eyebrows just to get a better view of my cut crease so that is what it's looking like now but what you're gonna do to set this concealer is take that same savannah shade and just go right on top but lightly not too much just a little bit just so that it can still stand out but it's also not going to move and because i feel like i messed up a little bit too much of adding too much concealer on this side i'm actually going to take some more of that dark brown i'm not going to add any more product to the brush but i'm going to just take that brush take the brush and just put it where i want the shadow to be so that that I thin out that line again as you guys saw I had already feel just like that and now you have the perfect highlight I'm gonna go in again with that savannah shade because I feel like I went in a little too much with the brown and there you have it I just think this is so pretty and I, I do this quite often where I just take and just really just highlight my my eyelid just to add some pizzazz because I don't always want to do a colorful look but also I want to make neutral looks as exciting as colorful ones okay y'all so I'm gonna stop with this eye here do the same on my other eye and then come back on and get to the face so we're gonna go ahead and move on to our face the first thing I'm going to take is the elf poreless putty primer i'm going to take that and place it right by my nose and smile lines i'm not going to take too much of this because honestly when i re when i did this because when i did this look initially i did not apply this because i forgot and so i'm trying to do exactly what i did the other day next i'm going to be taking the power grip primer from elf as well and i'm going to basically apply that all over Moving right along, I am now going to be taking my Makeup Forever Best Skin Ever Full Coverage Concealer in the shade 55N. I'm going to be taking this and applying it on all of my problem areas, which is pretty much my entire face. And this concealer is so full coverage that honestly, I feel like I could use it as a foundation. But I usually just take a few dabs where i need them and then just spread it out across the rest of my face 
and I'm gonna take a beauty blender to go ahead and spread that out. Okay. Now that that's done, as you guys can see, the concealer alone makes such a big difference on my face. That's why I feel like I don't need to go in with a full on heavy foundation. So what I'm gonna do now is take the Fenty Ease Drop in the shade 20. And I'm just gonna be using this as my foundation today. I'm gonna go in with four lines like so and blend that out with my concealer. Okay, so we applied our Fenty Ease Drop, and so now what we're gonna do is go in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer in the shade Deep Caramel. We're gonna take this shade and apply it to all of the areas of our face that we want to highlight. I'm just gonna take a little bit right now and let that sit underneath my eyes. And then while that is getting tacky, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer in the shade Sunkissed. Because I have no intention on going back and applying more foundation or a lighter color, I'm going to just go in with the same beauty blender, taking the butt of it and just squeezing it into this bronzer until I pick up enough pigment. And then applying that to the areas that I want to contour. I like this um, technique because as you know, a sponge kind of picks up some product and with bronzer, I feel like I'll, in the past, I've always put too much. Now that I'm looking at it, I feel like I'm ODing right now. But in the past, I feel like I've always put a little bit too much, but with a sponge, it kind of like, like buffs it out in a way that a brush makes it more, um, more distinguishable, if that makes sense. Do people still contour their double chins? Because I feel like the girlies nowadays are not focusing on their double chins, but I will always put some contour on this double chin, my mother. Now that we have that set, I'm gonna leave that as is. But now I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. egg <laughs> concealer sponge and I'm going to blend out the concealer underneath my eye. So now that that's blended, I want to go in with just a little bit more of the Elf's Camel Concealer in Deep Caramel, just to add just a little bit more coverage. I'm gonna go in with that. A little bit more closer to um, my cheeks. And then I'm gonna take a little bit on my forehead, a dab on the tip of my nose. Literally that much. Um, and then a little bit on my chin, literally that much. Cause I feel like highlighting, highlighting the tops of your face, like everyone says to do your, your forehead, tip of your nose and your chin makes sense in theory, but I just feel like if you use too much product, it could get a little bit cakey very fast. And so I try to do as minimum as possible, but also still have the effect of like a highlighted face. But along with this concealer underneath my eyes, I'm going to take that same um, L'Oreal Infallible Concealer in the shade Toffee and go right by the uh, inner corner of my eyes just to bring in some highlight or a lighter shade. Actually this, actually, this shade is not what I wanted. I'll put it there and it's going to be fine, but I actually want an even lighter under eye. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna risk it all today y'all and I'm gonna put just the tiniest dot of white on top of that toffee concealer 
just because I want a more brighter in the corner. This is scary because this white is so pigmented that I could look like a ghost real quick. But we're going in. We're going in, girlies. I just went ahead and took that same bronzer that was left over on my beauty blender and just blended out the edges of that concealer. And now what I'm gonna do is take my translucent powder, which I think is the key to all of this, is this L'Oreal, nope, <laughs> is this Laura Morse, is this Laura Morse, is this Laura Morse translucent powder in the shade translucent honey um it's the new one the talk free blurring powder a lot of the girlies are not liking this powder but i think that it it does something i can't compliment it so much on my makeup whenever i use this powder and i think it's this so i'm gonna take the powder on a triangular puff dust off most of the excess on the back of my hand and then apply that underneath my eye but first i'm gonna make sure that there's no creases before I do that and then I try to have my eyes open as much as possible while I'm doing this. I don't know y'all, I think this powder is it. I will say that I have not used the original Laura Mercier translucent powder and so I don't have anything to compare it to in that regard but when i tell y'all i always get complimented on my makeup when i'm using this particular product a powder underneath my eyes i think laura knows what she's doing okay now that we have our under eye set what i'm also going to do is take and set the rest of my highlighted area so my forehead I'm going to define my contour just a tad bit back there. I'm gonna put this on my chin and then as far as my nose what I'm gonna do is take the puff and pinch it holding it like that and putting some product a little bit of product on the very tip dusting off the excess and then going up the bridge of my nose just like that my camera overheated but the only thing I did was dust off that translucent powder I added some of the Sephora bronzer in the shade um, Ibiza to my contoured areas and then I set my face with the Milani Make It Last Original Setting Spray. That is literally all I did. You guys did not miss much. What I'm going to do now is go back into the Juvia's Place blush palette and take the purple top color and take that and apply it to my under eye. Now I would not, so I'm not gonna be shy with this because I actually want it to show up quite pigmented underneath the eye just because I think it's so pretty. But it also is gonna complement the um, eyeshadow look as well. So 
So as you guys can see, I went a little bit heavy on there. But what I'm going to do now is take the same palette in the orange color with that transition brush that we used a little bit earlier. Take just a little bit of that and this like blend it out at the bottom. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, I love this eyeshadow underneath the eye. So I am literally doing the most right now. Okay. Oh, there it is. Blend it out. Well, it's not even an eyeshadow. It's a blush. And then just to clean it up, if at all, I'm just going to take that triangular sponge and just dab around. But honestly, I like the over buffed out look personally. Plus with some bottle mascara, it's gonna be fine. That'll do it. Now that we have that done, what we're gonna do is actually go back in. When I tell y'all, this is the base of this look. This is what makes this look. We're gonna go in with the orange blush and actually use it as blush now. So we're just gonna take that on a fluffy brush. This is again another BH Cosmetic brush in 124. I'm gonna do my little smile so that my cheeks pop. So like literally it all just comes together and it looks so seamless. And I like to overdo it with the blush. I am not shamed when it comes to blush because I just think it adds so much dimension to the face but I am gonna blend out the harsh lines. But as far as the color, the color is there. And so now what I'm going to do is take a little bit of that and apply it to the tip of my nose, the tip of my chin, just to give that like a rosy look. And I would do this with my forehead, but I'm going to, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it just right here. Just because it just be looking so cute. And just blend it out right there. Oh, you know, you know what I did not do? I did not set my brows. So those might be a little bit shiny, but it's fine. Okay, now that we have our blush on, the only other thing besides lashes that we have left to do is our lips. So I'm actually going to put my lashes on and come back and do our lips. Okay, y'all, so our lashes and bottom mascara are applied. And y'all, when I say that I am loving this look i'm not sure if i got it like exactly how i did it the other day but it's pretty darn close i might even go as far as saying that it's better than what i did the other day because i feel like the colors are just more vibrant today and i'm not mad at it like it's very it's giving very fall it's giving very like turkey day it's giving very like yes thanksgiving and so I'm not mad at it at all. But to finish off the look, we are going to be doing our lippy right now. So I'm going to zoom you guys in. I mean, like, just look at the material. Anyway, let's let's finish off this look because I feel like I had you guys here for far too long now. So what I'm going to be doing is taking a Wet n Wild. I believe this is the eyeliner pencil in the color Sima Brown Now. This is the same color I use on my eyebrows and I'm pretty sure I use this same brown liner on all of my lip combos. So it's just my go-to everyday brown lip liner and it's a dollar. If you're wondering why, it's a dollar. <laughs> I go through these days like left and right, but they're a dollar. Like I don't care what anyone else has to say about another brow pencil, another eyeliner, another brow. This is a dollar. Anyway, let's move on. So I'm going to take the liner and pretty much fill in my entire lips. Just highlight my, my eyelid just to add some pizzazz. Because I don't always want to do a colorful look, but also I want to make neutral looks as exciting.
Another reason why I like this lip combination is because I feel like everyone has these products already in their makeup kits. I'm taking a simple dark brown lip liner and pairing it with Max Velvet Teddy. So if you don't have this exact shade of lipstick, you have probably have something pretty close to it. It's just a simple pinkish nude lip color that looks that looks good on pretty much all skin tones, honestly. And so I'm gonna apply that now. And also you could stop here honestly because this alone is very pretty. Velvet Teddy in and of itself is such a universal shade. And pairing it with a liner of your choice, you're bound to get a look that is just so beautiful. So you can stop here, but what I'm gonna do is go just one step further and take NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie. Honestly, this is so popular. Not even that long ago, TikTok kind of like revamped it, like or repopularized it. And so I feel like everyone also has this color too. And so I'm taking NYX Butter Gloss and Fortune Cookie and just topping it off. And look how pretty. It is literally the perfect amount of shine while also being the perfect shade of nude. And it literally will go with any look. This is like my go-to nude look, hands down. Okay y'all, so I went ahead and took my hair down so you guys could get the full look of how everything all came out. I am so, 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 so happy. I'm not sure if I like today's look versus the look that I did the other day. I feel like they both are very much beautiful. They give similar energy, but I feel like this one is just a little bit more vibrant, like I said before, and the other one was a little bit more neutral and toned down. Love them both to death. I love this technique. I might be doing this with some colors later on. And so anyways, if you guys like this video, please let me know by commenting down below. Like this video and please subscribe if you not, have not already. Thank you so much for supporting this content and I hope you guys like this look as much as I did. Thank you again for watching and see you next time.